Hey guys, since it is the end of the month, I thought I would do a book haul. I haven't actually done a book haul, I believe, since like March of this year, and that's pretty insane. But at the same time, I honestly haven't been reading as much uh, because of school and all that kind of good stuff. And now that I'm out of school, I can finally read again. Um, so let's get right into the book haul. I actually had more books and more boxes to unbox for you guys, but they haven't actually come in yet, and I was waiting... Um, for as long as possible as I could before I had to just actually film the video to put up today. So let's get right into the book haul. The first book I purchased was Mother of Eden by Chris Beckett. This is the second book in the Eden series? I don't really quite know what the series is called. In the first book, humans have come from Earth to the planet of Eden where there's barely any sun or any light at all and there's about 500 people and they gather around and they just tell stories about how great Earth was but it's kind of a little warped and the vocabulary is different. John Red Lantern wants to break away from traditions and he goes and tries to discover a bunch of things that are going on in the planet of Eden and that's basically it. He just breaks away. It's like a regular I would say it's like a dystopian science fiction. Um, it's kind of, It just follows the same laws as regular dystopians, so um, there's all that jazz. The next book I went ahead and purchased is An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Chris Hadfield. Um, I follow Chris on Twitter and on everything that he does because he's amazing. He's an astronaut that was in space, I believe, for the longest recorded amount of time. I could be wrong on that. And I've been really wanting to pick up his book for a very, very long time. But basically, this is kind of like a memoir slash self-help book. I don't know. That sounds like a good time to me. So I went ahead and purchased that. The next book I got was Zelda A Link to the Past. So this is a retelling in graphic novel form of Zelda A Link to the Past. And um, here are just a few of the pages so you can see how really awesome it is. It's a really great quality book. And I think, believe it was only published recently in English. Um, so that's really great. Um, it has some nice gold foiling right there in the front. Um, I, of course, collect graphic novels. If you can't tell, there's some of them right there. I have way more than that hidden around my room. Um, but since I collect graphic novels and I really love Zelda, I thought, why not own why not own it? I saw it on Amazon and I was like, I need to own it. I think the colors are great and it's going to be a lot of fun reading this and reliving the game. So, I love you Zelda. The next book I went ahead and purchased this week is Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. I saw Rachel Whitehurst's video, um, which I will link down below so you can see it too. It's, she's really awesome beauty guru person that I've been following for years and years and years and I just so happened to watch her favorites video this month and she had an adult coloring book and she says that it's good for people with stress and anxiety and I have both those things so I thought why not go ahead and pick one up um, and I had a gift card to Barnes and Nobles so again why not? If you guys want to know more about this, just let me know because I thought this was really cool. I didn't know that they made this for adults and um, it was a really cool find for me. I also picked up from Barnes & Nobles with my gift card this Hagrid pop figurine because I like pop figures and I collect them a lot. If you guys have seen my Marvel unboxings, you'll know that I specifically unsubscribed from Loot Crate so that I can subscribe to the Funko Pop box of Marvel and stuff. And this is one of the ones that I got not from that box but by itself and this is Hagrid and there he is and he has a little umbrella and he's so cute and he's big he's a lot bigger than the regular pops which is really nice so and now to the unboxing I know what's in it and it's nothing super crazy because again I'm trying to cut back on the amount of books I'm buying since I haven't really been reading and you know of course in book outlet fashion tons of this Okay, finally I get one of these again. I stopped getting these. I don't know why, but I haven't gotten one of these in a book outlet order in quite some time. Granted, I haven't ordered from book outlet in a while, but it's nice to finally have one this year. First one, it's a little less exciting, but it's exciting for me, and it is Ender Shadow. I have the first 
book. I have Ender's Game in this same cover series, so I thought why not buy Ender's Shadow in this cover series. I have already read this book. I read it a while ago, and um, but I have it in Kindle format because I wanted my covers to match because I'm crazy. And the last book I got is Lock In by John Scalzi. I've been recommended this book a ton of times. So this book is about a disease that takes over the human population and 1% of the population then in turn is uh, locked into their body. I don't know what happens from there but that sounds like something I'd like to read because it sounds terrifying. It sounds really scary. That's it for my book haul and unboxing video. I haven't had one in a while so please excuse me if this is a little rusty. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my book haul. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or anything like that you guys can go ahead and comment or talk about what books you like or let's have a discussion down below I like talking to people also please remember to follow me on all my social medias if you want to and I will see you guys in my next video